What's up YouTube? Tops85401 here and I'm going to show you my Dirty Dozen Barry Bonds Top 12 cards in my Barry Bonds PC. Not necessarily the most valuable cards but my favorite cards. So number 12 is the Tops Traded Tiffany rookie card of Barry Bonds. So there's a front there. This one's graded here. And then the back. So I love uh I love the Tiffany cards. I got a lot of Tiffany Bonds cards, but of course, the uh, the traded rookie card is my favorite one. So there we go. That's card number twelve. Card number eleven is a super tough to find. Nineteen ninety eight finest the man refractor. This card is just impossible to find. And there's the back. It's numbered to seventy five. And just ask any refractor collector or any Barry Bonds collector and they will tell you that this card is impossible to find. So that's card number 11. Card number 10 is the Bowman Chrome Heritage Black Border Refractor Barry Bonds. This is 2006, I believe. And again, ask any refractor collector or Bonds collector and this card is practically impossible to find. So these cards tend to sell really high. Here's another one that probably most people don't even remember this set, but this is a 1998 Finest, Team Finest. This is the gold refractor. They actually made three refractors in this set. There was the blue, the red, and then the gold, and there's the back here. The gold is numbered to 25. Again, an impossible card to find. Just ask any collector. And then, let's see, so it's, okay, so this is card number eight, prime numbers, patch card of Barry Bonds there, it's my favorite patch card of him, off the number nameplate, of course, or the number plate, so there we go, and probably the m most beautiful looking bat card in the history of baseball cards. Not um, the Barry Bonds, uh, Stadium Club, Stadium Slices. I absolutely love this card. That's from the Bat Barrel. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Bat card. So there's the front and the back. This one numbers cards numbered to 100. Really tough card to find. They actually made three cards in this set. They did the trademark and the, and the handle as well. So there's a trademark Bat card, which is kind of a medium Bat piece. And the handle is much smaller that piece, so I got to get those two. But I got the barrel, which is by far the best looking one. And then here we go with a 19. I think this is a 1999 Top Stars and Steel. Most uh, most of you guys here on YouTube probably don't even know what this set is. But I'm gonna actually take it out of this case to kind of show you guys what it looks like. But it's it's actually a steel card with like a refractive coating on it. So it's like, let's see if you can kind of see the thickness. It's pretty thick for back then. And then it's refractive. Beautiful card. I mean, these cards are impossible to find. Again, all these cards are pretty rare. And then the back is pretty cool, too. It's refractive as well. But this is like steel here. And then this is almost like a, like a thick rubber top or something. I can't really even describe it. Maybe plastic or rubbery plastic. But really cool card there. And, uh, yeah, I love that card. And then this one, I think cards like this are going to make a huge comeback just because they're so beautiful. But this is the 1998 uh, Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor Barry Bonds. I mean, look at how beautiful that card is. I could just sit there and stare at this thing all day long. I mean, an absolute gorgeous card. Just gorgeous. So, and then particularly of the, all the atomic refractors, the 98 is just by far the best looking one. I know Topps um, made a few of these recently of newer cards using that type of atomic design. That one's number two, 100 as well. And again, impossible to find. So I think a lot of set collectors as, as, as well as a lot of super collectors like to go after these. So I got that one there. And then, so card number four in the list is my favorite autograph of Barry Bonds. It's the, what is it, 2005 Finest Refractor Auto. 
Look at that card. I mean, well, actually, I don't know that this video is going to show the beauty of it, but, man, if you get it in the right lighting, that blue and that red refract beautifully, and then the autograph is that full Barry Bonds autograph. Beautiful card. And then there's the back there. So, there's a print run of 75 of these, but this one's not numbered. I believe it's 70 or 75. I can't remember. It says in the back how many there are. So we got that one, and then the daddy of all refractors, as far as the original refractor set, the 1993 finest refractor, Barry Bonds. This is card number three in my collection. I, I, I this the top three could go one, two, three. It wouldn't matter to me, but I just put this as number three. Beautiful card, the 93 finest refractors refract so beautifully that green is just so brilliant as all you guys all your refractor collectors know the greens and blues are the best two best colors to refract and gold also gold greens blues those types of colors and um i actually have this entire rainbow and that's why i'm putting this card as my number two card it's a 1996 finest white border refractor numbered one of one so Beautiful card there, and uh, I got the rainbow of all the refractors and extractors in the set, except for the one of one extractor. I don't have that one. Now, I think they made a super refractor of this set, too, which I don't have, but all the rest of them I have. That's a beautiful card. Actually, the uh, the white border is like um, is like above the actual refractor part of the card. It's an interesting looking card. There's the back there. So, that's card number two. And my favorite Barry Bonds card, number one, not the rarest, not the most valuable. I mean, this, actually, it's impossible to find. And any of you bonds collectors or refractor collectors, if you make it to the end of this video, you'll understand. I'll explain this card real quick, but this is a 1997 finest refractor embossed gold. So this is the rare gold embossed refractor from 1997 finest. An absolute gem. Look at that beauty of that card. It has an atomic refractor look to it, or an X-fractor look to it, as uh, many of you are more familiar with. And then the back also, you can see the embossment on the back. The, actually, the emboss is for the front, and then the back actually has a refractive coating as well. But this is just an absolute gorgeous card. Took me about 10 years to find this card, and I paid dearly for it, but it is my favorite Barry Bonds card. Absolute beauty. So, there we go, you guys. My top 12 Dirty Dozen Barry Bonds cards and my Barry Bonds PC. So, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to me. And I'll try to start making more videos. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.